Hello everyone, my name is Adam Rainfield's Vox, and welcome back to another OBS multi-platform or OBS Studio tutorial. Last video I covered the overall interface and introduction to the software. If you missed that, be sure to check out the playlist link in the description below. Down there you'll also find links to OBS itself, my other channels, uh, more OBS tutorials, OBS help, uh, tons of useful information and links down there in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Go ahead and smash that like button if you're, you know, looking for more OBS stuff, and let's jump right into it. So to be totally honest, a lot of the settings and your, a lot of the sources and scenes set up to actually set up the visual part of your stream is going to be almost exactly the same as the original OBS. So to start out, I'm actually going to jump into some of the important settings you need to address. In this video, we're going to adjust the file output settings if you're recording a video. I'll do a full package video on start to finish recording games on your desktop in OBS, but for just setting up your actual file recording, we're going to cover that right here in this video. So to get to your options menu, go ahead and click settings down here on the video bar on your below your video preview and go to output. Now this is your file output, not your stream output. Now you're gonna, you have a few different options here. You have output mode, simple or advanced. So let's start with the simple mode. In simple mode, you have your recording path, format, bit rates, etc. So this is really useful for just setting up a video recording template. So for recording path, I'm gonna tell mine to go to a hard drive recording RAID. This is a special recording setup of hard drives that I have set up. You need to record to whatever you have available. If you happen to have a secondary hard drive inside of your computer, it would be a very good idea to record to that instead of your standard C drive. And this is because your hard drive will bottleneck when your operating system and games are running from it. This means that it will essentially be already so busy running your games and your operating system, that being Windows, that it won't have enough power or speed left in the metaphorical hose of its bandwidth to record your video and you're going to end up with a lot of video lag. If you're on a laptop or a desktop that only has one hard drive, you're kind of stuck with this. But keep in mind that that will be a serious limitation on your videos and that video recording requires a lot of CPU, you have a lot of computer and hard drive power and you're going to have to make some sacrifices in terms of quality to cooperate around that. All right, for recording format, you actually have a few different options here in OBS multi-platform. You have FLV, which is flash video, MP4, which is the most widely acceptable format, MOV, which is going to be a bit more friendly if you're on a Mac, MKV, which I never recommend you do with this software, and then TS. Essentially, for 99.9% .9 of cases, you need to be recording to MP4. This is what's most compatible with YouTube, your video editors, etc. However, if you're on a Mac and you're having issues, you could record to MOV as well. FLV really isn't going to do you any good. MKV is totally locked up in most cases and not something you want to mess with. And TS is just, you don't want to mess with it. So for video bitrate, this is going to be a hard thing for you to determine if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Now, in theory, if you're recording video games or your desktop or your webcam, you're still going to be editing your final video in a video editing software. But if you're not, it's still okay here. But I'm going to put this link in the description below. This is a link to the recommended upload settings for your video files for YouTube. And the same will apply to pretty much any other video platform. Now, keep in mind, we are messing with the recording settings, not the streaming settings. Now, we are running with the MP4 format H.264 encoder here, which is what we're basing this setting off of. And then you can upload in either 30 or 60 frames per second, along with some other things in between. Now, this table will have some recommended bit rates. However, a lot of these will be too high for you to really to, to record at. For example, if you're recording 4K, a lot of your all's hard drives are not going to support 68 megabytes per second. Mine does, but most people's setups are not. However, looking at just a basic 1080p 30 frame per second recording, it's recommending 8 megabytes per second. That's pretty easy. We can go down here to our recording and put in 8000, and that's 8 megabytes per second. Great. And we can actually increase it a little bit and just be like 8196 for like a rounded off number. Same thing for the audio bitrate. I recommend no matter what, if you're doing a local recording, your audio bitrate should always be at 320. 
Just always. There, there's no reason not to record lower than that. There's just no reason. That's the best possible audio quality, and audio quality is very, very important for YouTube. Now you have some output delays or output re reconnects and delays and retries and stuff like that. For the most part, just ignore all of that and click apply. And then that is your recording setting for the simple mode. And if you want to get into in to more in-depth video recording settings, such as recording a different you know, recording a different quality video than you're actually streaming, you can use this advanced tab. We're not going to cover this in the depth of this video. However, I may cover it in a future video if you want to see that. If you do, leave a comment in the comment section down below. However, that's really for only advanced users and most of you aren't going to need it. So most of you stick with this simple tab and you'll be good to go with these awesome settings. So again, refer to this chart of video and audio bit rates and you'll be good to go. It does recommend a higher audio bit rate than 320, however OBS only goes up to 320 for its, for its AAC audio, so that's all you need to really worry about. And that is an overview of the recording settings for OBS for your file output. With these settings that we established right here in the simple tab, this is actually going to make a very good quality 1080p video. And so once you set up the rest of your stream, you're actually going to have a very good quality 1080p video. So keep these settings in mind. Take a screenshot if you like. I might post a screenshot or something in the description below. Keep that in mind, and hopefully it helps you make a better stream. I do hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more OBS tutorials and other videos. Again, there's going to be lots of more OBS tutorials in that playlist in the description below. And be sure to check out our Patreon campaign where you can subscribe to the channel with a monthly contribution to receive early access to our videos across all of our channels. Also, be sure to follow us over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eposvox. That link will be in the description below. We've been picking up more streams, and once we finish our final move here, we're moving to an apartment. We're going to be streaming a ton, so be sure to follow us over on Twitch. And feel free to request whatever game you'd like to see. If you want to see us stream a game, we may very well stream it. Be sure to request it as well. Otherwise, guys, my name has been Adam Marie Pulse Fox. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.